Welcome back to my channel everybody. If this is your first time here, I'm Septian. I review True Wireless Stereo Earbuds and In-Ear Monitors. And if you remember, I reviewed the Sound Peaks Mini a while back. And the Mini Pro are an upgrade with the addition of active noise cancellation to suppress surrounding noise. They also got a transparency mode. They have a Qualcomm QCC3040 chip and Bluetooth 5.2 with AppDex Adaptive, they have a 10 millimeter diagram dynamic driver and 660 millisecond low latency when playing games. They also have Qualcomm's uh, clear voice capture noise reduction technology and they have Qualcomm's true wireless technology to use either earbud independently. So you can go stereo mode or mono mode. Now all of this you can get for $59.99 on Amazon and you can save an extra 10% at checkout. Now with that being said, I talked about the CVC. I'm gonna give you a mic test in a quiet and a loud environment and then we'll go in over the sound quality. This is a mic test of the Sound Peaks Mini Pro True Wireless Earbuds in a quiet environment. And this is what it would sound like if you were using the Sound Peaks Mini Pro in a quiet area where a lot of people are uh, talking. Whereas you'd be in a bar or a sporting event or something of that nature. As always, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the sound of the microphone. I'm going to call the sound the Sound Peaks sound. And that's, yeah, it's a little on the nose, but basically you have smooth bass, reduced mid-range, and you have detailed treble. Uh, the treble isn't rolled off though, which was surprising. At the beginning of Hey by the Pixies, Black Francis, he yells Hey, which is the title of the song. And there's an echo, and you can actually hear that. Uh, I was being a dum-dum and was trying to test the sound while watching TV, and I was like, I couldn't hear the echo, but actually with the Mini Pros, I could. The sub bass is good, it gets deep enough in my opinion, like at the 51 second mark on LFO there's like this big like sub bass impact in that dance track and I, I always use that to test out the mid bass, I mean the sub bass. The bin bass it sounds smooth and it sounds controlled, it has the right amount of attack. Female vocals sound really great, uh, Harriet Wheeler on Here's where the story ends by uh, The Sundays. She sounds bright. Uh, I like that the bass doesn't bleed into the mid-range. And the mid-range, it has good separation. Now, although the treble isn't as rolled off as some V-shaped uh, signature earbuds, the treble isn't shrill. Now, for the not so good part. Now, whenever, wait, no, actually, let me go ahead and just scratch all of that. That, like I said before, I was being a dummy and trying to test the ANC or listen to music while watching TV. There's no EQ shift at all. Not that I could tell. So that's good. But the Comfort Buds Mini, they did have like an EQ shift whenever you would switch between ANC and transparency mode. But yeah, the Mini Pros didn't, which is weird because the Comfort Buds Mini, they're a little more expensive than the Mini Pros. But overall, the sound quality on the mini pros it's really good for the price so i'm gonna give it a four out of five now the controls a single tap on left and right controls the volume a double tap on the left and right controls pause and play and you can answer and hang up a call too a triple tap on the left you can toggle game mode on and off a triple tap on the right controls the voice assistant. Now a long press on the left, that is for the hybrid active noise. It goes ANC, transparency, and normal mode. Yes, you can actually turn the ANC off with these. And a long press on the right controls the next track. There is no previous track on these earbuds. So this Keep that in mind if you're a type of person who likes to use one earbud at a time. If you're using the left, that's going to be your ANC controls. If you're using the right, you're not going to have access to those controls. But at least the controls on these are very responsive. 
and I've been testing these for about two days and it's really easy to remember. So I'm gonna give the controls a four out of five. Okay, now it's time to do my favorite segment of my reviews, which is Can I Go Deaf? This is all about ear health and also to show you if how loud the earbuds get and whether or not they distort at max volume. So I got my Pixel 5 here, I got my decimal meter, and I'm gonna go all the way up to the max and I'm gonna test out a track from the weekend. Now this is Tidal Music, this is the streaming app that I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the earbud up to it. I'm gonna see how loud this gets. Oh, did I change it? Oh, I didn't mean to change it. I really did. It doesn't matter. Let me see here. Okay, 92, 97. I'm trying to be careful not to touch the the touchpad area here. Okay, 102. Now it's getting a little louder. It's it's pretty good, you know. Yeah, I listen to them, and yeah, they 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 were just all up in my head. Man. I about the my head was about to explode. Okay, 103. Not bad, not bad. I mean, yeah, that's pretty. That, that's decent sound. That's a decent. I'm like, it looked like they peaked at 102. That's all right. So that's pretty good. Hold on, let me check and see, cause. The last time I tried to listen to these at max volume, yeah, um, I couldn't take it. Yeah, the uh, music's not distorting, so that's a plus. Now, moving on to battery life. Okay, before I get uh, into the battery segment of this review, I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, Bluetooth audio codecs. When I paired the Mini Pros to my Pixel 5, I noticed that, you know, when I went into the Bluetooth settings, that it only supports uh, Qualcomm app decks, which is fine, that's that's fine. And I went into uh, the developer options and it didn't have an option for app decks adaptive. Now, whereas when I pair these up to my OnePlus phones, I have app, uh, access to app decks adaptive. It says right there on the box. Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive. So, I don't know. Google needs to get it together, man. Come on, man. Give us access to all the Bluetooth codecs. I mean, but okay. But anyway, let me talk about the battery. I'm going to break it down like this. The total battery life with the charging case is 21 hours. Battery life with ANC on is 5 hours on a single charge. Battery life with ANC off is 7 hours on a single charge or when the earbuds are in normal mode. And when the lights on the front of the case, how it will turn, uh, it's a single LED indicator light. I don't know why it's not turning on. Okay, there we go. Now it's green. Now green means you have 100 to 50% battery. Yellow means you have 49 to 10% battery. And red, when that light turns red, you have less than 10%, so there you go. And also the charging case will give you two full recharges. So with that being said, I'll give the battery on the Mini Pros a three out of five. This is pretty good battery life. The active noise cancellation on these is, is pretty good. You know, it's not great, it's, it's pretty good. It reduces 35 decibels of ambient noise. Uh, this is more than the T2, which reduces 30 decimals. The Airfun Free Pro reduces 28 decimals. And the redhead stepchild of Sound Peaks, the T3, reduces 24 decibels. And the T3 ANC is it, not that great. Now the ANC, what it does, it, it creates an invisible bubble around you to keep the music inside. And the cool thing about the ANC on the Mini Pros is, um, I don't hear a, an EQ shift. Uh, the bass and the mid range, it doesn't change or feels like the music is closed in. Sometimes when you're listening to music with A and C on, it feels like your head is in like this bubble. It's like the sound stage just instantly pushes in and I don't get that. And so because of that, it seems like they've been upgrading the mics on these things. I'm gonna give the A and C a 4.5 out of five. Now the ambient mode or transparency mode is also impressive. There's no weird AM radio static surrounding me. 
uh, my tests with both A and C and transparency uh, were fruitful. Uh, the sound piece, they did a good job on improving the mic. So I'm going to give the ambient mode also a 4.5 out of 5. Now, there's not going to be a comparison segment in this review. The video would be too long. It would be like the Fellowship of the Ring long. But don't worry, I will come out with uh, which should you buy videos this month. And I'm not done testing out these earbuds just yet. Also, uh, I have several other comparison videos to do with these because, yeah, I'm just getting started. So in conclusion to this review, these are actually pretty good. I can't really say for sure if you have the Sound Peach T2 should you upgrade, but uh, I would say if you have the Sound Peach T3, yeah, throw them things in the microwave. Don't get get rid of them T3s. Get get these. I don't usually like to make you know those types of uh, I guess predictions or like you know opinions on earbuds, but yeah, these are really good. These are really, I, I really like these. I, I liked them when I first started testing them, and I like them even more. They're, they're, just, they're small, they're lightweight, you know, uh, responsive touch controls, really good A and C. Uh, this, I can't really find anything bad about them. I mean, they're just really good. You know, Sound Peach, they're doing a really good job uh, as, as far as I'm concerned. So with that being said, be sure to leave a like, comment, and share. And as always, enjoy your life, enjoy your sound. I'll see you in the next one.